Hello, this is Dean and welcome to my video. I'm here today because this homeowner is tired of her old outdated thermostat that goes with her heat pump and we're going to install this brand new one for her and I want you to see it. So thanks for joining and let's get after it. The unit we'll be installing today is a Honeywell non-programmable thermostat model RTH3100C. As with any electrical project, first thing you want to do is find the label on your breaker box and turn off the appropriate breaker. In this case, the homeowner had a two-level residence with a breaker box on each level. And she showed us where both of them were and we turned off the appropriate furnace breakers on both. Now here is the older Linux system thermostat. And it's not enough just to throw the breaker at the breaker box. It's also a good idea to pick up a meter and check that there's no voltage between any of these screws. Now, since I don't exactly know who my audience is going to be, I wanted to err on the side of more information. Most of you won't care what these labels mean on the circuit board, but some of you will. For those of you who don't care, simply skip forward. And if this is moving too fast, for those of you who do care, simply slow it down or re-watch the video. Basically all we're going to do is take the wires loose from the old and place them onto the new. However, you will note that there are a couple of wires here that we will not place onto the new and we will point that out. Specifically this red wire at the bottom caused me some concern because I did not know immediately where it went. These labels came with the new thermostat, so what you want to do with these wiring labels is peel off the appropriate label and place it on the wire as you remove it from the screw. Keep in mind that the wires coming out of the wall, the colors are of no consequence to you. What is very important, however, is to place the appropriate label on the wire that you take loose from the screw. For example, we're taking the wire labeled R loose from the old thermostat. Now R doesn't mean red in this case because that wire is not red. So pay no attention to the color of the wire itself. Pay very close attention to the screw it came off of and place an R label on this wire. Make sure it's good and snug. You don't want that label to come loose later on. And now it's kind of blocked, but this is the O, the screw that's labeled O. We're going to do the same thing with it. We'll take it loose and place a label on that wire that says O. There it is. Now, this particular wire was labeled T. And T is not going to be used. And the good people at Honeywell Support told me just take it loose and put a piece of tape around the end of it. So you'll see it there, it's orange colored and it's got a piece of tape around the end of it. All of our wires have now been loosened. The thermostat's about to fall off the wall and we're gonna take this big screw out of the right side of it and then we'll take the screw out of the left and we'll remove the thermostat. And yes, there's the red one that I don't yet know where it goes, but we'll figure it out once we take it off the wall. Lest I fail to mention it, this old thermostat contains mercury-based bulbs. Some local ordinances prohibit mercury being dumped into landfills, so be sure and follow your local ordinances before disposing of thermostats like these. Now we want to be very careful here as we squeeze the bundle together. We don't want to just yank the old thermostat off the wall, perhaps breaking some of the wires and tearing some of our labels loose. Now once the old thermostat was loose from the wall, I was able to see that the red wire actually goes to a service light on the old thermostat and it won't be used anymore, so all of my worry was in vain.
Now here's our new Honeywell thermostat and the instructions say to carefully open it from the bottom up. That's because these pins, which are male on this side, here I'll turn it sideways to show you the male pins, fit into the female receptacles on the other half. Now in preparation for marking the mounting holes, take the back half of the new thermostat, level it up using a small bubble level, and then use a permanent marker, mark through the left side hole, and then the right. Remove the back half from the wall, use a, an appropriately sized drill bit and wall insert. Tap your insert into the wall. Remount the back plate and finger tighten the screws in place. Then alternately tighten one side down, then the other, getting it slightly loose so you can reposition right before you tighten it down permanently. Here we are with a bundle of wires that are now stretched out. And what we need to do for this new thermostat, since they won't be tightened around a screw head, is to straighten each one of these wires out. This is a page out of the owner's manual, of which I will attach to this video. With this first wire, we're concerned about the incoming wire that's labeled C which is here. We're going to stick it into a receptacle and tighten a screw down against the wire. So here is receptacle C. We loosen the screw, find the associated wire that's labeled C, press it down in the top of the receptacle and retighten the screw against the wire. Snug this up and then test it there to make sure it is tight. With all of our wires now attached, you can see they're all snugged and in place in the appropriate receptacle. There is one last thing to note, however. This is a notation from the owner's manual and it causes me to have to create a little jumper with a small piece of wire that you'll see here in blue. I stripped the ends off, made the letter U out of it, and jumped it from the slot labeled E and piggybacked it off the wire that was already in auxiliary. This particular unit did not come with batteries, but you can insert batteries to act as a battery backup for the display in case the power goes out. Now, once again, we're going to line up the male pins with the female receptacles. Start with the top, place it in place, and then press the pins into place. For the moment, be sure it's turned off. Hold down these two buttons for five seconds to go into setup mode. Now, there are three functions associated with this thermostat, functions 6, 8, and 14. You access those functions by using the up arrow. You change the settings under each function by using the down arrow. For this environment, function six needs to have a setting of nine for electric furnaces. So we use the down arrow to change it. Press the up arrow to change to function eight and similarly, it needs to be set with a setting of nine for electric furnaces as well. If it is not defaulted to a nine, change it to a nine by using the down arrow. 
The last function is function 14, which in a zero state means measure the temperature in Fahrenheit versus one for Celsius. Press the up and down arrows for five seconds and hold them and you will see the display reset. Now don't forget to turn your breaker or breakers back on. Now test your new thermostat by switching it either to heat or to cool. This project is complete. I want to thank you for joining us today. I hope the information that you saw is something that you can use too. Remember, if you like what you see, you can click on like, click on my face in the upper right of your screen to subscribe to our videos, and we'll see you again next time.